two <laughs> words, magical words, people don't understand what launch repairs they are, trade shows. There is a trade show for everything in this, anything you can imagine. There's a show where all the people who buy for all the stores that would carry the product would go to that. I want to introduce right now, Nicole Haight. She's a trade show expert. Nicole, stand on up. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, you've been with Impex, which is the largest invention trade show for six years. Yes. What, give me, for instance, four tips on getting your products noticed at a trade show. What should somebody do if they, first of all, how would somebody find the right trade show for them? Well, you would come to mine. Okay, your trade show, which is, the big one is, which one this it's is? in PAX or in Pittsburgh every June. But once you're at the trade show, and it's not that expensive, you get booths sometimes right. for hundreds of dollars. A couple hundred dollars, Very sometimes booth. under a thousand dollars. Okay, and for instance, your trade show, how many people do you have wandering around looking to buy stuff? Uh, we have probably between six, seven hundred business attendees, and not necessarily looking to buy stuff, but looking for new ideas. Do okay. they want to take it, take it on, add it to their existing product line? Okay, so what are the basic tools that you use to make a good trade show booth? You've got to have an exciting booth. You want people to pay attention. You've got a couple seconds when they come down the aisle. You want to stand out amongst the person next to you. So, you know, whether it's lights, whether it's posters, whatever you have to do, you want to stand out. And don't barricade yourself in your booth with a table. You want it to be open. You want don't to invite people in. Don't put yourself something you between you. Don't yeah. yourself off. Don't have a barricade. You want people to come in. You want to welcome them. And have a giveaway. Have something free, whether it's a pen, whether it's a stress ball, whether it's a yo-yo. People like free stuff. So, you know, that's all you got to do. If you have pretzels, Put them on a table. Put them out there. I mean, that's what, you know, that, and, and like Liz was saying with your elevator pitch, know what you're talking about. You've got a couple seconds. Don't go into a 20-minute speech about how you came up with the idea 20 years ago. Business people don't have time for that. They want to hear your story and, and move on. Yeah, that's great. What are some of the mistakes that people commonly make at trade shows? Well, one thing is you have to be energetic about your idea. Don't sit in your booth with the newspaper up eating food. <laughs> it's, not a good, it's not a good idea. So, you know, Bring people in, and, and like I said, even if you don't have that much money, go to a Kinko's down the street, spend 50 bucks, get some posters made. Don't have misspellings or typos. Don't have a handwritten poster on your table. You know, spend a little bit, and that could help you, you know, make a good impression. Any other trade show advice? Any other tips? Well, you could call 1-800-INVENTION. That's us. So you can call us, and we can, we can help you tell us when our show is, tell you when other shows are. I love it. Help, but help the key invest. thing, everybody, it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It's not millions of dollars to get started. That's the thing.